What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to be having a quick discussion about the best LRs, in my personal opinion, that people should be saving or spending their gold summoning coins on. Alright, this is something that I've been asked about quite a bit over the past couple of months, especially recently, with you know many people having an abundance of gold coins available to them as a result of the five year anniversary on global. So yeah, that's gonna be the topic for this video. But before we jump in, I do wanna be extra clear that everything I say in this video is just my personal opinion, okay? It's just my recommendation. And if you guys disagree with anything that I say, that's totally, totally fine. And in that case, feel free to let me know in the comments down below where our you know opinions differ, okay? So with that said, let's get it started. And I think the best way to do this is actually to go through each of the different types of LRs that are available in the game right now with the gold coins from AGL to Tech to Int, STR, and Fizz. And what I'll be doing is ranking each of the different types of LRs from you know the highest priority to the lowest priority. And then at the end of the video, I'll be doing an overall like top five, top seven, or something like that. Okay, so why don't we start with the AGL type LRs first. And uh, out of the current pool you guys see here, Majin Vegeta, Mighty Mask, LR Baby, Kale and Khalifla, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, and Nappa and Vegeta, I gotta say, at number one, it's still LR, Kale, and Khalifla. All right, even though they're a little bit older now, even though they're no longer considered by many people to be the best unit in the game like they were back in the day, um, they're still absolutely amazing. Okay, they still do really, really impressive damage, still can get insanely high defense, and uh, still absolutely annihilate some of the longer events in the game like Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History stages, and so on and so forth, and any other event in the game or in the future that have a similar setup to those events, right? So um, I still think they're fantastic. I still think they're the best AGL, at least non Dokkan Fest AGL LR in the game right now. So I would start with them at the top of the AGL list. And then at a close number two, I would go with LR Gumku or LR Bombku or LR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku. This guy has many names. But uh, yeah, this guy right here, Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku is number two. And the main reason for that is just because he is a really amazing all around unit. You know, he hits insanely, insanely hard on a Super Saiyans team or any other team where you can bring at least a couple of other Super Saiyan category units. He hits so damn hard. He can seal the enemy. He can lower attack and defense. He changes orbs, gets really good defense as well. Not the best defense, but a good amount of defense. Um, you know, enough for most events. And uh, just a fantastic unit. So that's why he's number two. Now number three and four is a little bit tricky because I'm a little bit torn between LR Baby and LR Nappa and Vegeta, okay? And here's my reasoning. Okay, so LR Nappa and Vegeta is the newer unit. In fact, they're actually not even available with coins yet on uh, Global or JP, I'm pretty sure. I know at the very least, he's not available with coins on Global yet. And, uh, you know, just based on that, he should probably be better, but that's not always the case, right? And my issue with Nappa and Vegeta is that before the exchange into Vegeta, which, you know, sometimes is kind of hard to get, um, their damage, at least single target damage, is really bad. Now, they do attack all, or Nappa at least, attacks all, which is great, but even for that, there are better options out there, and there are even like free-to-play options that are, in my opinion, just as good, if not better, like LR Krillin, for example. If you want to get a unit specifically for attacking all, or for a world tournament, LR Krillin is actually probably a better choice because of the double supers, right? So, um, he's not really that necessary for that. And uh, once again, when he exchanges into a Vegeta, really good damage, all that stuff. But that, that takes a little while to actually get going. And um, I think LR Baby is actually more useful for more events. Like Super Bad Orb, for example, LR Baby has saved my ass so many times. Okay, so I think it's kind of close, but I would put LR Baby at number three, LR Nappa and Vegeta at number four, 
And at number 5, I would go with LR Mighty Mask. Even though I don't love them, they still do really good damage. They have the ability to raise their defense on their 18 key super, and they also give themselves a ton of key on average, so you can get that 18 key super off pretty consistently. Whereas for LR Majin Vegeta, he still hits really hard of course, his damage output is impressive, but uh, that's pretty much it, that's literally all he does. He, he does attack all on the 18 key, but as I said, there's like really good free to play options out there, like uh, LR Krillin or even the second form Frieza, and so on and so forth, so I don't think you really need him for that. So yeah, for the AGL LRs, my ranking currently is Killing Khalifla, um, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, LR Baby, LR Nappa and Vegeta, and then Mighty Mask and Majin Vegeta. Okay, now Majin Vegeta could get an Extreme Z Awakening in like a year, year and a half, something like that, and become really fantastic. But right now, his lack of defense just really hurts him. And it's not his fault, really, because, you know, he was made in a time where defense wasn't as important. Same thing with the uh, Mighty Mask, actually. Mighty Mask has no defense before he gets an 18 key super off. And even when he 18 key supers, he's not getting that much more defense, but uh, he is getting more defense than Majin Vegeta. So that's why I give the edge to uh, the kids right here, okay? So that's the AGL LRs. For tech LRs, I would definitely start with LR Jiren. Now he is definitely not available on global because he's not even, his banner hasn't released yet, hasn't even released yet. But uh, for JP, he'll probably be available in I would say like maybe three, four months or so. So when he becomes available on either side, he instantly becomes the top priority for tech LRs, okay? And pretty much for all non Tokemon Fest LRs in the game, at least the ones we know about right now. Um, there are gonna be more LRs, of course, the list is gonna keep growing in the future. But as of right now, LR Jiren might be the best non Tokemon Fest LR in the entire game. Now there is going to be another LR that comes up in a bit that I think has a, you know, fair chance to be in that discussion, but uh, yeah, he's amazing. He just insane damage, crazy defense, um, a bit of a boring unit maybe, but I mean, if you like big numbers, if you like big defense, big attack, then this is the guy for you, man. So I would say he's the top priority for sure. Number two. Um, it's between Broly and Goku and Frieza, but I would put Goku and Frieza slightly above because of their leader skill, okay? Damage-wise, I mean, they both do insane damage, all right? I think it's pretty close between the two. I think Go Goku and Frieza actually, on average, will out-damage um, Broly because Broly has the active skill, but that's only one time only. But I think the more important part that edges out Broly for the Go Frieza is that their leader skill is fantastic, right? They have 177% HP attack and defense for Universe 7 units, or representatives of Universe 7. And, uh, you know, for that reason, I think if you guys don't have him, or have this unit, then it just makes more sense to pick this up first before you get Broly, since Broly is, I think, 130% for Resurrected Warriors, which obviously is not the best available option you would rather have either the tech super saiyan 2 vegeta or the uh, int angel golden frieza for a leader for the category so i would go lr jiren and then goku and frieza and then tech lr broly and uh, finally i would go for goku black slash rose and zamasu and finally tech super saiyan 3 Goku. Okay, now Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not a terrible unit. Okay, I want to be clear about that. I don't think he's like that bad, but um, he, he it, it's the key issues, man. He has some major, major key issues, and uh, especially with the new Link update, even though in a lot of ways it's, it's an improvement um, for this guy specifically and anybody else, any other units that struggle for key. The changes they made to the way that key links work actually hurts him a lot because it's even harder now than before for him to get his 18 key super and without his 18 key super this dude it's like a wet blanket okay let's just be honest he does like no damage so that's why i got to put him at the bottom of this list now moving on to int um this one yeah i mean it's a little bit tricky in the middle but i would definitely say number one would be rose 
his damage is just off the charts okay like this dude especially with the link update getting that uh big bad bosses at all times um is just outrageous okay so i would put him at number one for sure number two uh, I would probably go for LR Super Saiyan God Goku. He's a very good all-around unit, especially with no dupes, because he's one of the only units in the game that can dodge and crit, and that's 50% for both without any hidden potential investment, without any dupes, okay? So um, I think he's really good, especially at 55%, so I put him number two. At number three, um... Look, like, to be fair, this unit is really good. Okay, the GT Trio is really good. But what, what handicaps them is that they're only on two categories. Okay, Dragon Ball Seekers and Join Forces. That's it. So, for that reason, you know, picking them up, it, like, it wouldn't help a lot of people for, you know, many events because you just can't put them on too many teams, right? So, at number three, I would actually go for LR Bojack because of his ridiculous tanking like he's a very very good tank at low hp um he can do really good damage at high hp so i go for him at number three number four i go for gt trio and then gohan at number five now gohan is still an excellent nuker can still do insane amounts of damage especially when you give him a lot of key orbs but uh it's once again the lack of defense man we're in a meta at this point in time where defense is just very very important and the fact that he has like no defense at all, even with his great damage, is just it's just not enough to warrant um, him being a high pick here. Okay, so yeah, Rose number one, Godku number two, Bojack number three, uh, GT Trio number four, and Gohan number five. Now moving on to STR types, we're obviously starting over here with LR Ultra Instinct Goku. Okay, easy pick. Nobody's gonna dispute it. At least I don't think I don't think 90% of people would dispute this pick. At number two, this one might be a bit of a controversial pick. Um, I thought I thought about this for quite a bit, and I think that I'm gonna go with LR Beerus here. Okay. Now, I know quite a few few people are probably gonna go, but what about full power Frieza? What about Trunks and Mai? I'm putting Beerus here because um, well, I mean number one. His damage is crazy, right? His his damage is very, very impressive. Um, hitting like just like seven, eight million. Um, and the reason that he's actually extra good now is mainly because of the advent of new supports like STR Weiss and Int Vados, right? STR Weiss and Int Vados has made this guy just like way better than he was before. And also uh, with the release of Fizz Beerus, you guys know Fizz Beerus, or you should know at least Fizz Beerus, is just ridiculous right and he's the best linking partner for fizz beerus so this guy with fizz beerus plus one of the supports i just talked about like uh str Weiss or into Bados is crazy so uh, also his defense is quite good too all right he gets some really good defense so i would put him at number two uh at number three i would probably go with Tr mm. yeah see this is a tough one the reason that i like, this, this guy's kind of weird to place here because while he can do really good damage and his defense is actually better than you would expect, um, he's not very good for, like, you know, Legendary Goku events, Super Battle Road, Infinite Dragon Ball History, any of that stuff, any of the harder events, essentially, because he hurts you when he supers, right? Which is good for his passive because the lower his HP, the more damage he does, and all that stuff, the more key he gets, so he's stronger at lower HP. So his his the the fact that he hurts you when he supers is good for that purpose. But you know when you're doing when you're taking on those harder events, you can't really afford to lose HP every single time he supers, right? So um, I would never bring him on those events. I don't know about you guys, and that's why I have a hard time placing him on this list. But uh, I would probably go with Trunks and Mai because of their. A stunning ability, um, very clutch on Super Battle Road, and uh, their damage when on the right team can be quite good as well. So my final answer for STR would be LR UI Goku, easy pick. Number two, LR Beerus. Number three, Trunks and Mai. Number four, um, Full Power Frieza. Not hating, I love this unit. It's just for the reasons I listed, I can't place him higher. And finally, LR Broly. Okay, I think LR Broly is probably the 
worst summonable LR currently available in the game. And that's not including like the, you know, like friend summon ones or the world tournament ones. You know, those aside, this guy I think is the worst summonable LR in the game. And that's mainly because he doesn't just have bad defense, he has like negative defense, okay? He doesn't get defense in his passive, right? And he loses a ton of defense when he supers. So as good as he is for world tournament, that is it. I mean, he's also good for like, I don't know, farming certain events that have multiple enemies, right? But uh, yeah, he's just, he's just not good in the current meta. And uh, hopefully in the future, when he gets an EZA, they fix his defense issues. I mean, that's the case for almost all of the old LRs. Actually, no, pretty much all the old LRs, right? They all need more defense, so. You know, when that happens, he'll be much more viable, but right now, he's literally just for World Tournament, and that is the only time I ever pull him out. Okay, so that is the STR ranking right there, and let's move on to Fizz finally. Okay, so for Fizz, um, I, I love Broly, Chila, and Lemo, like with a passion. Okay, like this is one of my favorite units in the game. I think they're so much fun to use. But just like the GT Trio, they're only on two categories, which I think really hurts them because of the lack of diversity from a team building perspective. So the number one priority for me here would be the LR Androids, okay? They fit on much more categories, or at least like five or six categories, I believe. And they're also an amazing support unit for Androids. They also... Uh, do really really good damage and have great defense when you have that exchange to Android 16. Yeah, just an overall very very good LR number one for sure out of out of these units. Um, it's not even a question for me. So I mean, to be fair, I am a little bit biased because I am like the biggest Android 18 fan in the world. But I do think that the points that I made are still valid. So number one LR Androids, and then I'd put LR Broly, Chila, and Lemo at number two, even though they have a lack of you know categories and teams the teams that they fit on dude they can do some amazing things okay guaranteed dodge with seven orbs um crazy crazy damage and defense too with uh you know fizz orbs they can also support if you want to with the other types of orbs giving more attack to the rotation or more defense to the rotation and uh yeah a very versatile unit um that can put out some big numbers as well so I would put them at number two here. At number three, uh, it's a toss up between Bardock and Cell, but I would go with Cell over Bardock because of the attack all ability and also the healing too, okay? So he can be a good option for World Tournament, but also for a Super Bad Road as well. And uh, of course, he's the best linking partner for the Int LR Cell too. So, um,. Yeah, for that reason, I'll put Cell at number 3, Bardock at number 4. I don't think he's the worst unit, or the worst LR, um, which some people seem to think, right? Like, I, I consistently see Bardock at the top of, like, worst summonable LR lists, which I just don't think is true. And the last one is LR Trunks. So, I think it's been a consistent theme so far that every single one, except for Tech, okay, with the exception of Tech, every single one of the uh, OG 5 LRs, the uh, Majin Vegeta, the Goku, uh, LR Goku Black, or Rosie and Zamasu, the Int Gohan, STR Broly, and uh, Fizz Trunks. Um, you know, they're, they're at the lower end or last on these lists, mainly because they're just old, man. They lack the defense, and at this point, defense is just very, very important, like I said. So, Bardock is above Trunks because Bardock actually gets some defense on his passive, right? And his damage, you know, while not super impressive, is quite good, especially with the link update, which is something you can say about all these units, actually. Like LR Cell with the persistent big bad bosses at level 10, crazy, right? So, uh, yeah, for Fizz, I would go with LR Androids, uh, LR Broly, Chila, and Lemo, LR Cell, LR Bardock, and finally, LR Trunks. Okay, so those are all the five types. And finally, we're going to do a little breakdown here of my overall top five to top seven. We'll see, we'll see how I feel. Okay, so at number one, now this is gonna be a controversial pick. I'm gonna go with LR UI Goku. Okay, I think LR UI Goku should be the top priority for your gold coins whenever he becomes available on Global and JP. Um, I do think that there's a good case 
or LR Jiren, who is number two on my list. Actually, I don't know. Um, Jiren just starts off with so much defense and damage without even stacking anything, though. While UI Goku takes a while to stack up. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Honestly, it's it's up to you guys. I think it's a toss up between the two. I would still probably pick LR UI Goku, but I couldn't blame anybody for going with LR Jiren first. Okay, so they're both definitely like they're like one A and one B for who you should be saving your gold coins for. Okay, so LR Jiren, LR UI Goku, that's one and two, and uh, at number three, I would have to go for. Let's see, probably killing Khalifla at number three. Um, LR Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku at number four. And for number five, either Goku and Frieza or uh, Rose. His leader skill obviously isn't as good as LR Goku and Frieza, but he does have comparable damage for the most part. He also can heal you. He also has a rage mode mechanic, which can you know, save you if you're close to dying, um, you know, because you are immortal for one turn, right? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a toss-up, man. It's tough, but I think I would go with Goku and Frieza over Rose, honestly, as far as overall utility goes. And then if Goku and Frieza is above Rose, then Rose would be next on my list. Um, so how many is that now? We got UI Goku, we got Jiren, we got Killing Khalifla, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, and then Goku and Frieza, Rose, number six. And why don't we pick one more? At number seven, I'm gonna go for either Tech Broly or it would have to be the LR Androids. So I'm gonna go for the LR Androids because of their versatility as a supporter or when exchanged with 16, damage dealer and tank. Um, I think just the overall, you know, versatility of the unit will put them above Broly for me. And then at number eight, I'll go with Broly. Okay, so there's my top eight overall for the gold coin LRs currently available in the game. Um, and that is today's video, guys. Hopefully it was helpful to some of you guys who are having trouble deciding who to use your gold coins for, or at least save up for. This video actually ended up being quite a bit longer than I thought it would, but uh, hopefully it was worth your time. And before you guys go, let me know in the comments down below who you plan to either spend your current gold coins on once another legendary banner becomes available, or uh, who are you saving for um, if you guys don't have enough gold coins at the moment, okay? So that is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And uh, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.